If you don't know Cardi B, Cardi B is a hip-hop musician, and I guess you could say she's a rapper, and she's a good one, very interesting person. She's actually a pretty smart lady, and she has been one of the important figures, I think, in culture, in American culture, for raising awareness about the pandemic. She has done a good job. Now, it's kind of interesting that it's her because people don't consider her to be someone who's serious. You know, they don't consider her to be someone who's thinking about the common good, right? Maybe because of her music. Who knows? But she has been. One of the things that I find very interesting about the video that I'm going to show you is that she's wearing a mask. A lot of people even now in America look at someone wearing a mask and go, oh, you must be sick. I was one of the first people I saw in New York wearing a mask. I always wear a mask when I go out these days. Now more and more people are. But when I first started doing it, people would look at me like I was the weirdo. I was the sick one. Actually, no, I'm, I'm trying to protect myself from you, <laughs> right? That's, that's a fact. In Asia, people put on a mask when they don't feel well to protect others from themselves, but also people put on a mask to protect themselves. So it's much more normalized. For example, in China, in Japan, if you see someone wearing a mask, no big deal. But in America, if you see someone wearing a mask, it's not normalized. It's like, Ugh. oh, no, they might be sick. They could pass it to me. Ugh. I better be careful. I think that's unhealthy in this situation, the pandemic situation. So the video I'm going to show you, Cardi B is wearing a mask, and I think she's doing it because she's trying to normalize it, which I think is pretty cool. So the video is four minutes long. Let's watch the video, and then we will talk about it hey guys so i just want to uh do this video right long ass motherfucking video and let y'all motherfuckers know something <laughs> sometimes i get on my live and i be talking about crazy shit you know entertaining my fans and people might just take what i say and just run with it and say what the fuck it is or not. and i really want to let uh these celebrity knows i really why the confusion that um the general public half, right? And the questionings that the general public have. Because if number 45 is getting on a podium saying, hey, listen, if you do not have any symptoms of the coronavirus, which is coughing, fever, and whatsoever, et cetera, et cetera, do not get tested because we don't have enough uh, testes to test everybody. But if a celebrity is saying, hey, listen, I don't have no symptoms. I'm feeling good. I feel healthy. I don't feel like nothing. But I went and got tested and I'm positive for the coronavirus. That caused confusion. That made people be like, well, wait a minute now. Uh, I don't have no symptoms, but I know I went out this and that day. Shit, I might just have it. Shit, I'm scared because I'm around my kid. I'm around my grandparents. What should I do? And let me tell you something. The, the general public, people that work regular jobs, people that get regular paychecks, the middle class, the, you know, poor, whatever the crap, they're not getting, they're not getting treated like, 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 like the high, you know, the ones that appear, like celebrities and everything. They're not getting their fucking coronavirus results the next day. That's one. I, the coronavirus is very much real. That's first thing first. And let me tell you something. If you're under 30, right? If you're under 30, because I know somebody that's under 30 has a cold, and they told them if your cold is not for eight days, you, you cannot get tested. So you got to be sick for eight days if you're under 30, so you could be eligible of getting a fucking coronavirus test. Now, if you're like in your 40s, 50s, 60s, and you're having a cold, they're going to test you right away. However... Your test results will come in four days. And let me tell you something. They tell you this. If you are positive for the coronavirus, they will tell you to quarantine in your home or and come back on if your fever goes 100 and some shit degrees. And I do not feel like that's right because it's like if you're positive for the coronavirus, but you don't have a crazy fever, but you have a cold and you're sending people home. I don't know. I, I, where, where do they think they're sending people home to? Not everybody have the luxury to go in a fucking bedroom and to go in a big ass house and just stay away from people. People live in small ass apartments. A lot of people live in small ass apartments with multiple people. So it's like, if you're sending me home and I have the corona fucking virus, I'm most likely going to give it to my, my spouse, my kids, anybody that's around me. And on top of that, a lot, a lot of celebrities, y'all have the luxury to pay $34,000 or 
or whatever the fuck it costs to get tested and get treated. A lot of these people, they don't fucking have that money. Some people don't even, don't even have enough money to fucking have, to, to fucking afford health care. And I feel like all this shit, I feel like for coronavirus treatments, uh, for, for testing, for all that shit, I feel like the government should take that shit to put, charge that shit to the game and not charge people for it because at the end of the day, this shit could have been prevented when they find out about this shit a couple of months ago and the shit they was doing in China. The fuck? It shouldn't be charging no motherfucking uh, Medicaid, health insurance, none of that shit. This is y'all fault they got in this motherfucking country. Y'all could have been avoided this shit. A month ago, everybody was saying that it, it's fine. This shit ain't that serious. Now look. Look at that. And that's my point. Bye. All right. So why is this video interesting? I think she's right on every point. But let me just sort of break it down what she's saying a little bit. And then we'll talk about some of the actual expressions that she's using. First of all. Everything is very on point. There are a lot of people in America who are not saying what she's saying. It's kind of amazing to me that she's the one who's right about this stuff and that still there are people in the government who are, who are misleading or not saying things clearly or, or giving people false hope. There are still people who are causing confusion in the government and she's, I think, very clear and very on point. What she's really saying, what she's actually saying is number one, we should have started doing something about this when we found out it was happening in China. Yes, that's obvious, but we weren't. We waited until it came over here and then we delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed. And so who's responsible to pay for the damage caused, economic damage, people losing their jobs, people who can't pay for getting a test? Who's responsible? probably should be the government. That's why I think they're doing this thing where they're starting to send out money and help small businesses. So that's good. She's saying they should be because they should have taken action much, much earlier. It's not up to people to do that. It's up to the government to act and have a plan. She's also saying, why is it that the testing is easy for rich people and celebrities, but for a common person between age 20, 25, 30, middle class, it's so hard to get a test, even if you don't feel well, even if you have a cold. And she's totally right about that, I think, because if you get the coronavirus and you don't die, you're still passing it to people. You're still part of the problem. And so we need to know if you have it or not so that we can figure out what to do, what's going on. Should we put you in a small room somewhere? Right. We need to know that. So why are people who can't afford it? Why are people who are not famous not able to get a test? And she's obviously upset about that. She's totally right about that. The other thing I mentioned, look, she's wearing a mask on her face. Most people are not wearing masks. Cardi B is right about that. Masks help. People should be wearing masks. Very, very important. Okay. She's also talking about poor people not being able to afford this stuff, that there has to be a way to give people this stuff for free. So you have to be able to go to a doctor without worrying, is this going to cost me $30,000? Is this going to cost me $10,000? People shouldn't have to worry about that because if they do, if people are worrying, what if I have to pay $20,000? I'll just stay home. I'll be fine. And then they have an emergency and they don't go to the hospital until it's too late. So I think she's absolutely right. And I'm glad that she's talking about this because a lot of celebrities are kind of afraid to be public about their views about what they really think because they're worried that there will be criticism or something. She's not afraid. She's out there saying what she really thinks. She's correct. Luckily, she has a huge following. So hopefully that will influence people. I love that she's wearing a mask. I think that, that more people should listen to Cardi B. Honestly, I think she's a very, very intelligent person and knows, knows how to get ideas across really well. Now, a couple of specific things that she said that I want to mention very quickly. She says number 45. What, what is that? We're talking about Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the 45th president. 
Okay, so 45 is Donald Trump. She talks about the general public. What's the general public? Well, it's not really a specific thing, but usually we're talking about common people. If you hear general public, we're talking about common people. Now, you'll also hear in relation to tests, positive, negative. Positive is bad. If someone says you're positive for this disease, you got a test and it's positive. That's not what you want to hear. Positive is a bad thing. That means you have it. The positive result is that you have it. So it's not positive in the whoopee sense. It's positive in the the result came up and the answer is yes, as in yes, you've got it. What you want to hear is you're negative. Oh, good. Negative. Oh, that's good. That's good. You want to be negative. You want the results to be negative. Positive, negative. Now, she also says small ass apartments. Why is she using the word ass? Actually, we use the word ass in a lot of phrases like a big ass, a big ass house, a big ass, a big ass apartment, a small ass apartment, a tiny ass car, a cheap ass something. So adjective plus ass, then a noun. For example, a cheap ass car. A cheap ass car is a very cheap car. It's just to emphasize it, focus on it, stress it. Okay, so you'll hear that often. It's it's pretty common. Two other things very quickly. One, quarantine. That's the word that everybody probably knows by now, but just to make sure you know it, quarantine is when you isolate yourself away from others, you have no contact, or when, for example, you're in the hospital, you're kept totally separate from others, no contact with anybody who doesn't have protective gear on uh, to protect themselves from you. Maybe there's plastic around you. Maybe you're in a special room. You are quarantined. You are being quarantined or you are in noun quarantine. You are in quarantine. Okay. Eligible means eligible means that you can get that. If you're eligible for, for example, insurance, if you're eligible for, for example, healthcare, whatever it might be, that means, or maybe you're eligible to receive unemployment, for example, that means that you can. You are in the right position. You meet the requirements to get that. So you are eligible. She was talking about tests. People who are below a certain age who have symptoms are not eligible to get a test. And she's saying that's wrong. And I completely agree. So I think it's a cool video. And I think more people should be like Cardi B. That's my opinion. Uh, by the way, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to check out my courses in the links in the description.